Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Casey. In this video, we're going to be meeting with Brian. He's a longtime client of ours, and uh, we've done some wonderful business with him. In this video, we're going to be buying some 90%, as you can see behind me, and uh, we're going to be taking some items that he wants to put on consignment with us. We hope you enjoy the back and forth, and uh, we had a pretty good discussion about bullion and uh, investments. So I know we talked about this stuff, uh, like the the, I guess the junk silver. Yeah. Um, I don't think I talked about this stuff. I know you guys had looked at it before, and I know it's not really in your wheelhouse. Yeah. But I don't know if this, this is the kind of stuff that you'd be okay with trying to sell on eBay. Yeah, we can. Um, like take now and then. Uh, yeah, the kind of the same thing that you did with the uh, the world coins and those those eagles. Okay. Just do the same similar situation kind of thing. Um, now my understanding was this was two hundred and fifty. So this face. is just so uh, one fifty face. So I'm, I'm still keeping a uh, hundred. Of course. Okay. Keep some still. But okay. Yeah. Should just be two fifty. I'm oh, sorry, one fifty in face on that. And then, and then you have a I guess do you have a spreadsheet of what you're interested in getting for these? Uh, curiosity, or do you want to email I, I just kind of thought of this when I went home to grab that stuff. Um, grabbing this, so I didn't don't have one on me, but I can see if I've still got one in my email. Yeah, or we could go over prices and then I can uh, get some stickers out and write down. Oh, or if, yeah, if you got a piece of paper or something like that, I can yeah, I can write this stuff down because I think I remember off the top of my head the big pens now just because you know, they all go missing in the list. It's gonna get loud, Drew. I'm putting the counter on. I say those ones shouldn't have been opened since uh, since you last counted them. <laughs> Did Drew mention a, a price that we were uh, paying, or do you want me to tell you what? what uh, I don't think you mentioned the price. Uh, so currently we're paying twenty times face. Twenty times face? Yeah. So if it's like, let's see. So if it's a hundred. 150 in face times 20, we're looking at 300. Yeah, I think that's about that's kind of what I was expecting, I think. Yeah, I, I don't have another math, but yeah, I think that sounds about right. Okay. So that one's checks out. Okay, just check that out. Not the money I want. Yeah, ideally, uh, what you want to sell it for. So you. So what I want to net on it. Yeah. So okay. You, so you don't lose any money. Gotcha. Like so that. the net so price. Get, yeah. Gotcha. And then you guys add what you take, and then what eBay takes on top, pretty much, right? Yeah. Okay. Tell my mom what you did the uh, the first time you started uh, backing all these up. I uh, counted up by hand. Yeah. yeah. I uh, I didn't have the, uh, the fancy machine, but I just counted up by hand. I was close too. They yeah. weren't that far off. Most of the time you uh, missed one, so it was good. You could get get a little bit more, you know. I was being generous, I guess. Yeah. So how do you collect these? So uh, my grandfather uh, left me um, quite a bit uh, when, I guess, when he passed away. Uh, like stuff like this though, I purchased, I've always kind of been interested in it. Again, when I started investing, the first thing I actually invested in was silver. Uh, I bought silver bullion back when it was like 16 bucks an ounce or something like that. And then I think I sold most of it um, when it got into the mid 20s first time around before it kind of came back down and went back up. Um, 
so yeah, it's something I've been interested in, and the collectible coins, I sent off a lot of the stuff to get graded. I mean, most of the stuff that he had was from his grandfather or his father. So it was kind of a, a couple of generations worth of stuff. Um, these ones, so these ones I kind of just took whatever they're kind of selling for, yeah. and then I know eBay takes, what, 13%? Uh, 10. They take, so they take 10, I'm assuming you guys take about 10 as well, or a little more uh, than that. we try. Yeah, so sometimes I mean, it's really tough. Like it really depends. Like are these bullion? So they're they're collectibles. Yeah. Um, so I kind of just looked at the prices that they were online, and then tried to be about ten percent back of those prices. Yeah. And then obviously take out the twenty or so percent. Yeah. That you and eBay take. So I don't know. I mean, if you want to try to get like twenty four, twenty five, I just add. If you just want to add like twenty percent to each yeah. of those prices. So two thousand is a big one. Yeah. So two thousand is the big one. That's that's a kilo. Okay. Um, they're cool, they're, they're nice and everything like that, but I just, I don't really care about them as much anymore. There's a few that I really like, a few of the collections that I like and I'm gonna hang on to, but yeah, some of these, yeah, they were cool at the time. Are they all are they all a series or is it? So they're all different series. So like there's, they do like, they started doing an HP Lovecraft series. So they have different things like that. And then like this is all steampunk. Mm -hmm. So it's all kind of different things like that. And I think they're kind of cool, but like I'm only going to be doing, they have, they call it the Masters of Art. It's basically like a portrait of an artist. Like they have, um, I can't remember exactly, like Monet and some other one right now. So I collect that one and then I'm also collecting, they call it the Tiffany Art Series. Who produces them? So it's CIT, it's out of Liechtenstein. They, okay, they, so the same company? Yeah, so they're all, all the ones that are in these black boxes are the same company. Yeah. Um, they call, all come in the display case and stuff like that. But yeah, like I'm going to collect, the Tiffany Art ones are pretty cool. It's like a, a coin but then there's Tiffany glass in it. So like it'll be an overhead shot of Paris and the river is glass or an overhead shot of London, but the river is glass. So stuff like that, which I want to kind of display. I mean, as far as an investment, they're probably not a great investment. They, their value doesn't really change all that much, but just kind of something cool to look at. Yeah, so, cause one of the things that I want to do is I want to make a network. So I've already kind of started calling like electricians, plumbers, AC guys, so on and so forth. So that when I do have a big client base, Someone's like, hey, can you recommend somebody? I can just give them a folder with everybody. Thing is, I need two people that do that kind of business to recommend them. Yeah. So I want to recommend you guys if someone comes to me asking about, you know, bullion or collectible coins or anything like that. Do you have somebody else that you would recommend other than yourself? Maybe someone that just focuses on bullion? Does it have to be local? Not necessarily. So, I mean, that, that's what I was thinking was, because that's one thing I want to do as well is I want to... I don't know how much business I'm going to be sending out, especially early on when I have a fairly small client base, but that's one of the things I want to do is kind of create a network of other people that I can send people to. You want, so, to, be a, you want to be a problem solver. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, if you guys, again, I know you guys primarily do the collectible stuff, so maybe if you know someone that does primarily bullion, I mean, that way I still have two to recommend. Yeah. It's just not competing with each other. Yeah. But, yeah, I'd like to be able to grab one of your cards and throw it in a file and, again, when I finally have enough of these files together and finally have a client base, I can kind of start giving it out to people. Yeah, but is that what you're doing? No, so the, uh, like the, the Tiffany art ones, uh, yeah. I want to like make a display case and kind of have it lit from behind so you can kind of see from behind there. But I don't have too many of them right now. Mm -hmm. And again, hopefully as I start to make more money, which hopefully I will, but uh, I can start buying some of those. Because there's a couple of places in my house where I think it would look kind of kind of nice to have on display. He said, so for the total, it was 1990 for those three coins. Okay, cool. He's going to send me a photo, hopefully, of what um, of what that item was. So, so just, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen this before, I think in the past. We just, had a, like a, a, I think we, well, I was one of the first ones that you did with this after you see yeah to start yeah yeah so just your name here i put the total mm -hmm. and then it's 500 plus items probably yeah and then we've already got your driver's license so it doesn't really matter the check's gonna be 385 okay and i just need a uh, signature let's see why not i'm gonna go home and uh take a photo of uh what we have left just so you can uh update a spreadsheet if you've got one of the yeah. The foreign coins that we have left. Yeah, I still got I still got a picture of that that list as well. I, I've never put it. Probably should put it in an Excel sheet. But um, in the car after I got home from work when I was with the other company, and now I don't have a lot of time because I mean I'm working Monday through Saturdays. I usually cut off about Saturday afternoon. But 
Yeah. Well, I wish you the best. Well, thank you. It's a... Uh, hard work does pay off. The luck you, the luck you get hard... What does it say? Uh, the luck hard. you get, the harder you work. Yeah, the hard, harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah. One, one thing that one of the guys that's training me basically said is, you know, hard work pays off. You just never know when it's gone. Yeah. It's it surprises thing. you. That's what I was kind of saying at the beginning. You don't want it given to you. And I'm not saying that anything's been given to you. But it's like... Oh, I'd say some stuff has. And you don't I'm grateful for it. That's for right, sure. But right. you, don't, you don't want to, you know, earn it too easily. Because you see a lot of guys where it's like... It's just back. Huh. You, you have a lot of people that it's like... I've made it to the end and nothing else is interesting. <laughs> and it's like... I, I want to go back to when I was younger and I was out there knocking doors and I didn't have as much, you know, to worry about now or it's very boring now, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hold you. Traffic takes some time to get up here, believe it or not. So do you want a water or there's a vending machine out there? I could get you a, snacks. a soda oh. or something. I was probably just going to grab dinner on the way home. Enjoy the simple beginnings. I'll walk you out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you need any help carrying this stuff out or is it too much? I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna leave it here with my mom and I'll come back in. All right. Back well, nice to meet you, Brian. It was good to meet you as well. Have a good night. I think I will. So, like I mentioned, and like you saw, we uh, purchased some 90%. So, for this video's giveaway, based on your comment, we're going to be giving you three Walking Liberty half dollars. So, please leave, please leave a non-offensive, positive comment about what your thoughts on the video and our interaction with Brian. We hope that you learned something about, you know, buying 90%, counting 90%, working it up. Um... If you enjoy this kind of content, please uh, like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Hey guys, like Casey said, I am up in Ohio currently, but I do want to run last video's giveaway for the one ounce silver bar, so let's get to it. All right guys, so we're at the previous video. We're gonna select and pick up that. We're going to input it in the system here. Then we're gonna scroll down and we're going to get the YouTube comments. Let's see how many were from last video. We have a total of 258 comments. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to start the giveaway. All right, JDF, thank you so much. We appreciate the comment. And now just uh, follow the next instruction so you can receive the giveaway. So thank you, JDF, and everybody who commented on the previous video. Uh, if you want to claim your prize, make sure to reach out to me, acousticallectibles at gmail.com. Or if you want to reach out to me on Instagram, it's at acousticallectibles. You have one week to claim it. And make sure to remember, guys, just comment, like, and subscribe if you want to be entered into this video's giveaway. And we'll be announcing it in the next video. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.